This is Brad in the ELC. Today I am going to walk you through accessing your student evaluations in Canvas. Collin College's Institutional Research Office serves as the administrator for student evaluations and the student evaluations are now available for both face-to-face -face and online credit courses in Canvas. Once the Institutional Research Office makes those evaluations available. Every time a student logs into Canvas, they automatically get a pop-up message prompting them to complete their evaluations. And it looks something like this. So the students are automatically reminded. You can also always post a reminder for them in your Canvas course as well to make sure you get as high of a response rate as possible. Before we take a look at the evaluations, I want to remind you that anybody who is in the course as a teacher is going to be a part of the evaluation. In fact, if, if there's more than one teacher listed in the course, your name as the professor of record will be in the evaluation, and then there will be the exact same question again for whoever else is listed as a teacher. So the best thing to do is go into a course and on the left hand side click on people and this will show you everybody who is in the course and here is their role over here on the right so if you scroll through here this one's me and that is in there as a teacher and I don't have anybody else in my course as a teacher if you see somebody else in the course as a teacher if it's somebody that you added, for instance, if you wanted to copy something from another professor or allow them to copy it from you, then you can take them out. But if it was a situation where a different faculty was originally scheduled to teach the course and then it was transferred to you, that other teacher may have been put in by web services. In that instance, you need to email web services with the course name, number, and course record number, the CRN, and let them know that so-and-so needs to be removed from the course. Otherwise, the evaluation numbers may be skewed. They may answer questions for you, but they won't answer questions for the other person or vice versa. Your particular numbers may be skewed if more than one teacher is in the course. Okay, so to access the actual course evaluations, on your home page in any course, over on the right hand side, there is a widget, the Student Evaluation of Instruction widget. This widget will actually appear the moment that the Office of Institutional Research assigns uh, this course to be evaluated by students. Generally, that's going to happen, you know, sometime during the semester, maybe about halfway through the semester. Uh, but once this widget appears, you'll be able to see when it starts and when it ends. This has already happened, so it says started on November 18th, ended on December 9th. But you would be able to tell your students when the evaluation starts based on this information. So if you click here, now I have a unique situation here because I was also a student here at Collin. It was quite a while back, but I'm still listed in Banner as both a student and a faculty. So it defaults to the student view, and I need to come up here and change this to instructor. You may not see this. It may take you directly into instructor. But if it doesn't take you directly into instructor, come up here to the right and click the drop down and choose instructor, which will change this view, and it will list your projects by term, by semester, to see all of your courses and to be able to actually access your evaluation, you need to click into a semester. I only taught one course last semester, so it's only showing my one. If you have more than one, it will show all of your courses for that semester. All the way to the right is the little downward arrow button. Under report, you're going to click that and it gives you some options. Typically, I choose the detailed report plus comments that will list all of the questions, all of the answers, and it will also list all of the actual written comments that the students made about your course as well. When you click on that, it's going to generate that report and it's going to prompt you to save it to your desktop. Once you save it to the desktop, it's just a PDF. All you have to do is open it up and take a look at it. 
Now, while you can come into this view from any of your courses, you will have to download each individual course's report. So you would, if you taught more than one course, like I said, you'll see multiple courses listed here. Each one will have this icon and you'll need to click on it to download the report for that course. One more thing, I'm going to go back to the home page here of my evaluation kit. If the evaluation is still open for the students, you will not be able to click in and access any results. They will only be available 48 hours after the deadline to post grades in Banner. But you can use the response rate tracker over here on the right to take a look and see what the response rate, current response rate is for each individual course. That's about it. If you run into any issues, feel free to contact the ELC. We are here to help. Have a good day.